Stadium, home to the Cardinal Tennis Program. And today they host the Osseo Orioles in a Northwest Suburban Conference matchup. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro, sidelines. And we start with first singles, Gabby Newton for the home squad, taking on Osseo's Izzy Bean. The Cardinals come in at six and five. Osseo at two and six on the season. And the Cardinals uh, looking to move a couple of games over 500 on the season. And it's been a kind of an interesting weather day. We got here and it uh, started to rain and it was cloudy and now the sun's out a little bit. We, uh, I think we're good to go. There's Izzy Bean. Always a busy schedule for the Lady Cardinals. They have been extremely busy since week one. As soon as yeah. they were able to get on the court and practice, they were playing by that weekend. And Gabby Newton, we've talked about, fourth year as the first singles player for the Cardinals in her senior campaign. She gets the win in game one. Yeah, I think she'd like to. Uh, I think she'd like to get a quick win here if she could, in, dom in domineering fashion. If if that's possible for her, I know she's been having a, a pretty good year. We'll switch back and forth with a little bit of first doubles. We're just starting their warm up. Really nice job from Gabby. First of all, a nice first service and forces Bean to be on the defensive. And then she moved her around the court and uh, Izzy Bean couldn't get there to return. And Gabby gets the point. She was able to score a couple of points that way in the first game. And starting out service very strong, up 30 love. Oh, and that's the key. You, you get that first break. And then if your service game is on, you've got an opportunity to go up quickly to nothing. That's what uh, Gabby is looking for here. And look at that first service. It's just really nice and Bean can't return it. You've got a lot of power on it. And you hit it to the far back line of the, of the service court. That one's out. And that one just long and a very quick game to love win for Gabby Newton gives her that 2-0 lead. Uh, a really nice job, a really uh, you know quick job in those first two games for Newton. Very efficient. And now Izzy Bean a crucial early service for her. And she starts it well. Obviously a lot of tennis to be played, but that was let. But if a, a set a service this early can ever be crucial, it's when you're down 2-0. Absolutely. And you can see not, not quite as much on her second service. Well, we talk about all the time when, you know, if, if there's a big difference between your first and second serve as an opponent, you have a great advantage because you can, you know, apply a little power there. As she, that returns hit into the net. Newton attacking off the service, but plays that into the net.
there's that second serve. That one's going to be long. on that one. First service, and then look, look at the difference now when, in her second serve, she's got to make sure, a little more careful, a little more cautious, because she needs to get it in. Newton being aggressive when she can, long lob will back her off. That's, you know, not going to hit Cross it. Cross court is wide. And a good job by B to, to uh, put that one up over, so it took her away from the, from the net. When you, you cut down the court, when you're able to get to, you know, the areas where your opponent can hit the ball, you cut it down when you're up at the net. Nice little breeze today. And that one is long, and Bean will hold her service. Well, she needed to. So it should make it 2-1 to one in favor of Newton. Take a quick drink and switch sides of the court. Always to, better to be at the driver's seat on the first turn. Yeah. There's Coach Emily Smith talking to Bean after the uh, first three games of this first set. Coach is uh, getting a little quick coaching in between this the time that they get the service off. And based on the note we just received from Coach Storick, they're testing out a little more coaching during play and then presenting it to the high school league as a recommendation on how to better assist your athletes in their progression. Her surface for a second to retrieve a ball. The pleasures of high school tennis. Yes. Return is just long for Bean. And you saw a, a second service for Newton, still able to put a fair amount of power on it. Yep. Well, that's the, that's a key always to your service game. If you can, you if you can get your first serve, your second serve to look like your first serve, that's uh, that's the key. And also on that second service, you, you have a tendency to maybe put a little more spin, a little more English on the ball, if you if you don't have that velocity on your second serve. Again, good control for Gabby Newton from the baseline. Forcing the mid hit from Izzy Bean. That service is long. Uh, double fault. That's something I know that uh, she's not happy with herself for that. I'm not sure if you know where the uh, 
30 the all. Score is a 30 all. Okay. I believe. Well played, uh, really placed lobs, nice volley. Um, and then some solid ground strokes, yep. and eventually the long hit. But the lobs back and forth from both players to opposite corners, pretty tight. That one skipped off the tape. Again, good plays from both into those opposite corners, forcing That'll both forcing deep into backhand corners. But Gabby Newton gets. The win. Bean will serve from the far side as we started with game one. Stellar net play, but good job by Bean returning it. And then, yeah, Bean really did do a great job staying in that point yep. despite Newton's strong play to the net. And uh, had herself in a good position to make a play on the on the final one, but uh, Gabby put it past her. Well, and you can see what getting to the net does for your game because you cut, you cut down that those angles, and that's how she was able to win that point. Yeah, and then again, just able to use the power to at the, at the net to put it away. Once you get your opponent to run, you uh, there's a disadvantage to them because now all of a sudden they have to regroup and get back. They don't know exactly where you're going to put that ball. Nice first service. It was long. Oh, it was long. It looked good. That's out. Newton trying to be aggressive on that second serve, but uh, a little too much on the backhand. And an ace will bring us back to 30 all. Yeah, and that's a, that's a big service for Izzy Bean. And she need, she again, she needs that to stay in this one. Was a little long. I don't know if she caught the back I, line. I, I think she did. She so I have. think it will be game point. Yeah, it'll be added in. For Izzy B. Yep. Nope, 30 40. So it's that out. That's long. And that's another service break for that's Gabby huge. Newton. That, that's huge. Because if Newton again can control her service here, all of a sudden you're up 5 1, and you, you have an opportunity to put this first set away relatively quickly. Yeah, two service breaks in the first five games for Gabby Newton. And 
that is the difference so far. And Izzy Bean, when, when she's had a good first service, those points have gone more in her favor than when it, they've gone to the second service, uh, allowing Newton to be more aggressive. This one into the top of the tape. Bean needs a service break. Oh, she certainly does. It's it's uh, at this point uh, she has to have a service break if she wants to stay in this first set. It's wide. Called out, it looked close. Yeah, you know, Gabby obviously wants this set. This is an important set for her. And she'll take commanding lead. I should say this game. That's out. Well. That, I think really the, the first chance in this match so far to attack the net. Yeah, we haven't seen her the net. Long. Nope, she's been, uh, she's been staying down by the, from the baseline. Oh, nice, really a nice forehand by Bean. And she's going to put it deep, and Gabby couldn't, uh, couldn't return it. Again, that kind of caught her, handcuffed her a little bit. Newton gets the point. I believe that puts her at game point. Yeah, Bean was about two steps into an approach and then had to go fighting back to that back corner. Well, wide and oh, that was not game point. Now no, it's game point. Now it's game point. Now that's strong game. point. Yeah to that corner. Well, the way it was hit, it allowed her just to kind of turn on it. it. Made it really difficult for Bean to return that shot. I mean, look at the, look at the power she uses on that on that forehand. Trying to close it out with another service break. Played that one into the top of the net.
hit wide, and Bean will have a 30-love lead. A, a nice job by Bean getting a, Gabby to run a little bit. And she tried that, put that one far court, a little bit too much on it. little too much, put it past the back corner. Being a chance to stay alive here. Yeah, she's got a long way to, to go in this in this first set, but definitely has to start here. That one is out. She'll get an ace to finish it. Keep herself alive. Well, Joe, she certainly needed it. Now down 5-2 in this opening set. Well, now it'll come down to uh, Gabby's service game here. So far, she has been strong on service. Bean has yet to be able to break or really even pressure to break her service. Beauty of a shot to the back corner. No yeah. chance for Bean to get to that. Yeah, I mean, Bean came to the net and the beautiful backhand down the line. I mean, just look, I mean, look at this, a perfect point as she drills it to the corner. and No, no chance for Bean. Bean with a good effort to try and dig it out of that back corner, but could not get it back over. Now, Bean with, with some really sound, sound groundwork on these points. She just can't win them. It'll be set point for Gabby Newton. Eventually too long, and that will give the game and the set 
to Gabby Newton, a 6-2 win in set number one. Yeah, and a pretty efficient one at that. Just uh, you know, just losing a couple of games, and she's able to get some breaks early and, and really develop that first set for herself. And uh, a nice win. And as they break between sets, we will shift our focus. One court to the left. I just went to check the score. It says one nothing. I don't, I'm sure it's not that at this point, but I just wanted to see where the score was in this uh, first set for the doubles team. You gave me a look like, where are you going? <laughs> I know you have to leave early, but you still have plenty of time. <laughs> one nothing in favor of the home team? Correct. And that was obviously at last yeah, turn? Yep, that was at the last turn, so. We'll see what it is once uh, they go change it. So Abby Sankey and Charlie Zachman was Zachman serving for Osseo, Macy Ruddy and Abby Semensky on court for the Cardinals. Double fault to start for Zachman. Macy Ruddy, been Cardinal captain for a couple of years. She has. Nice service. And she is always a pleasure to talk to, always smiling, always, giggling. Always. Enjoying her time at the tennis court. Yeah, we had, they had, gave us a nice presentation before the match, gave us each a plaque for 28 years of service. Very, very nice, very heartwarming, very touching, and we certainly appreciate it. And she and she spoke, and she did start by laughing. She's, uh, she's great and finished great, yeah, by and, laughing and finished. But uh, this was that was a really nice thing for them to do. We really appreciate it and are honored for that. Sankey, a long, levered left-hander yep. at the service. Strong play at the net by Zachman, a couple. Are you sure it's not the other way around? Zach you are you are right. You're right. Yeah, Zach was serving. Well, I should say is serving. No. No. Thank you, is serving. I think the other way around. We specifically asked at the beginning which is which. Because you, you originally said that Zach went was serving. That's what you originally said. Then I was incorrect. Okay. Because this is Sankey serving. Because when we asked, Charlie was the one who said, I'm Charlie. Okay. And right. she's the darker haired one. This is Abby Sankey, the long levered left hander. I get that. But <laughs> that, that part I was correct. That You are definitely correct in that part. Uh, how quickly the mind fades. What? Speaking of 28 years of service. What? What? What sport is this? Field hockey? Okay. Uh. I'm 99% sure that that is correct. That that is Abby. And the other is Charlie.
Sankey doesn't waste a lot of time between first and second serve. On well, the high hop up and out of bounds and a one of the spectators. Well, <laughs> a very good uh, show of reflexes from the spectator. Did not let it get to the parking lot. And so it is 3-0 three three as yep. they hit the turn. Nice start uh, for the first double squad. And certainly a nice start for Gabby Newton. Well, she's up 1-0 in set two. Well, as quickly as uh, that first set went, uh, if, it, if it plays out the same, she could be done before uh, this, this first set of doubles. Yeah, I don't know about yeah, that. Close. That's pretty quick. No, you don't know. Well, on this trajectory with a 3-0 lead, and then the Abby and Macy duo, along with Coach Scott Storick, hoping that they can do that and just cruise to a 6-0 win in the first. Gets a let serve on the second. Oh, that was kind of a desperation save well, for Zachman. Yeah, but it's a little mishit too by uh, by Ruddy, and she uh, she was able to keep it in the court. I like that. Ready also a lefty, her first service of the match. Cardinals win the volley, take the early 15 love lead. Oh, nice service. Oh, beautiful play by Sankey at the net. Good play by Semensky at the net and a swing and a miss for Zachman. Yep. She did a really good job with a little, little power on that volley. Macy Ruddy really able to extend the court to get to that one beyond the back corner. Yeah, she got it back in play. She did a really good job hustling to the ball. Good effort from yeah. Abby Szymanski at the net, but didn't get quite enough of the tennis ball. Well, and you can see how her racket moved a little bit when she made contact with the ball because she had to, she had a lunge for it and she just couldn't uh, hold on to the grip.
Another one at the net to Szymanski, not quite able to get what she wanted on it. That's a big ace for yeah, Macy Ruddy right there. Leave that makes it 30-40. But she had a lot of power on that. I think he couldn't return it. Great play down the line by Zachman. So maybe it's 30, 40 now. Great look at it down the line. A nice service too. With the incredibly comfortable broadcaster right behind it. Me or you? I'm the one with my foot up on I'm the table. I'm comfortable so. too. I'm in, a, I'm in a comfortable state of mind. Clouds have rolled back in yep. here at the pivot courts. Yeah, there were a couple of little spurts within the half hour or so before we got going uh, of some rain, but just a little spit and not enough for them to be too concerned. And it was nope. followed quickly by some sun and some wind. Yeah, whatever little bit of uh, moisture on the courts uh, was uh, gone quickly. play by both players at the net but ends up long for Zachman and Gives the game to yeah. the Cardinals, puts them up four nothing. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was going to make it over. That was after they trailed early. Yeah, I was going to say it went off Sankey's racket. Yeah. She just wasn't able to get it back over the net. Too much. Just a bit. A little too much mustard on it. That is a lot of length at the net for yeah. Abby Sankey and just missing the back line by a couple of inches. Allows the Cardinals to jump to the early lead and an opportunity to try and break service and, and uh, put themselves in a five nothing cushion. Beautifully played to the back corner by Abby Semensky. Yeah, that be it'd be uh, if they go up five nothing again. They're in the similar situation to uh, Gabby went up in that first set, is he really control that one? A little too far. Well, and Sankey again creeping up to the net after the serve and you've got to know where she is and understand how long her arms are so you can get that 
Yeah. Return get, bastard. Get a buyer. That one was long. And a double fault. Yeah. Not not a good spot to double fault in. I mean, this is a. a that was ma on match point. Uh, yeah. Cardinals will take the first mat or. Uh, not match point. They will take uh, the For fifth set. game. Fifth game. Set, yeah. It was set so, point. Yep. Yeah. And they're now up 5-0. Uh, and you, you mentioned how quickly the first singles match is going. And uh, we're going to go back you, to it. You could be right. She's. Uh, Gabby Newton now with a 4-1 lead after the last turn. Well, it was just the flow of that, excuse me, the flow of that first set. I mean, she really dominated. There weren't a lot of back, you know, close matches. She won them fairly quickly. There's where Gabby stands here through the, in the second set. Relatively easy. First set victory, and she's trying to make an easy second set victory for the match. Oh, Great play. drop shot. Beauty of a play yep. from Gabby Newton. Absolutely. Well, again, she's had so much power on her return shot that kept Bean at the back line, and didn't, Bean didn't get a lot on it, allowing Gabby to approach the net. Strong overhead yep. smash. Another game winner, and we will go to Bean serving down 1-5 here in the second set. For what we saw in the first set, that's when Bean has her best opportunities, when Gabby stays on the baseline and she's able to play yep. strong from the baseline herself. Uh, and that one, you know, Newton trying to make her way to the net, put a little too much on it. To have a lot of control of a racket on that backhand. Make it 15 all. That was, that was a Really Passing strong shot. point for both players. Bean made a nice approach to the net. Good job on that that previous uh, point, but uh, second chance. And Gabby's got so much room down that forehand side. Looking for that drop shot again, put it into the tape, 30 all. And 
As that one sails wide, it'll make it a break point and a set point. Yeah, big service coming up for Bean. Well, now Newton can take advantage maybe of a little bit of a weaker second serve here. But, oh, and she double falls. Double That's fall. a tough way to do it. And that'll mean it's a 6-2, 6-1 win for Gabby Newton. Impressive control displayed when we were watching and yeah nice win nice win for her and with that we switch back to first doubles Semensky serving for the Cardinals And I don't, obviously the Cardinals, Cardinals just won. So I don't know if that was game six to make it 6-0. I thought there was one in the middle that may, have, but if they had played another, they'd be switching. Oh, oh Roddy had a beautiful opportunity at the net and just maybe got a little too excited, got on top of it. But we will wait to see when they when they switch because I'm about 80% sure. I'm going to go with as far as 90% sure that the Cardinals won that last point that Semensky served, and also then the um, the game. So that is either the win. It's got to be the win for a 6-0 win yeah. in, in the first set. Okay, so, yeah, they haven't changed it. Well, no, but they don't always switch. They don't, you're right. But just because the set is over, it's, you know, every other, you know, every two services you switch sides. And I think they just rolled into the second set. Second set. And I've already lost track of the score. So. Well, we had to stop for a little picture. You know, there are important things here, Bob Pivot Courts. Semensky nice. had the chance, didn't miss. Nice point. Uh. Zachman had a beat on it at the net, but didn't get the angle she wanted. Waiting for a couple courts down to retrieve a ball. After the wait, it was a strong service from Sankey. Oh. And again, Zagman in a good position at the net, but not able to get the angle she needed.
Well, Joe. Well, so I, okay, so that was six. I, I was incorrect they, that they had won the last. Uh, so it was six. So it was five to one. Yeah. Now, it now is it's six, to, six one. to one. Yeah. And unfortunately, this is the point where I have to leave you. I apologize, my friend. You, uh, I made it. I made it fairly far. I made it. I made it through three sets. So. I thought we got a little bit of a later start, and I thought maybe I'd get it all in before I have, to, rain I have to go to the Twins game tonight. Have to. Entertain my car, my Twist, customers. Twisting, uh, twisting yes. of the arm to make me go watch sports on a beautiful I know, evening. On a beautiful evening and get a lot of free food and free drink. Yeah. How about you stay here? I'll go do oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, have, I know nothing about the wholesale plumbing and well, you, HVAC industry. You, you could fake but, it. But, uh, you know, it. I can be entertaining at a sporting event. You, I've, that I've part I can do. I've witnessed that many, many, many times. But uh, I know you will finish strong, and I will uh, I will bid adieu and hope everyone enjoys the rest of the match. So I will do my best in your absence, and I wish you uh, a fond farewell and hope you have a great time at uh, the Minnesota Twins contest down there at Target Field. And there he is, he's off. Plaque in hand. Wearing his twins outfit to the game. Coach Storick out having a word with Abby and Macy between sets. They win comfortably 6-1 in the first. And a strong start to the service for Macy Ruddy. Miss hit by Sankey out of play. Looking for that inner corner of the service box. going to get another return well out of play. So back-to-back -back aces and a 30-love lead. looking for the cross court play and didn't quite get the power or angle she needed. Still a lead here in this game, a big lead or a win in the first set, 6-2, six, 6-1, six, one. one of the two. And Shapiro's not here to correct me. Great play by Szymanski at the net, Zachman a good effort, but sent it long. Another strong play from Szymanski at the net. And it'll be game point for the home squad. Oh no, that was game point. So they start the second set with a win. Yeah, just no chance for Charlie Zachman on the return. Cardinals take game one of set two.
Cardinals were a very young team last year, able to return all of their singles players from a year ago, and also this top duo leading their doubles lineup. Zachman, a solid play into the corner. Semensky in position, but put the angle a little too tight. Double fault, leaving it up at 15 all. play for Zemensky well timed or from Ruddy rather well timed no doubt Zemensky plays or <laughs> Ruddy plays it too long. <laughs> that one's sent too long by Ruddy as well. It'll be game point for the Orioles. Zachman trying to call Sankey off it, maybe a little too late, but fortunately for them, it was too tall, even for the long levered lefty. Zachman, strong play at the net, but set to just long, and we'll go to Deuce. Ruddy on top of it again in tight, plays it into the net. You got it. So advantage Orioles. And they'll get a big win. To even the second set at 1-1. So Semensky will serve. Looks like almost everybody else is done. Might still have one court going way down on the end. Looks like. Maybe that's third doubles down there. This time, Zachman able to make the 
play at the net. Put Osio in the lead, 15-30. Double fault. And the Orioles looking for a big service break early here in set number two. Back to back double faults. And a big service break indeed. Puts Osio in the lead two to one. Here in the second set, they lost the first six to one. So the first time that the Cardinal duo of Maddie and Abby have uh, faced any adversity this afternoon, they jumped out to a 5 0 lead in the first. able to win that set relatively easily and now trailing early in set number two. Good anticipation again at the net by Zachman, but got on top of it, played it into the net. Cardinals get the first lead of the service for Sankey. Ruddy trying to play it right at Zachman, but caught the top of the net. Evens things up. Smensky sends it long. What a recovery by Abby Semensky. It was really an outstanding play at the net by Zachman. And it is probably a winner eight out of 10 times she makes that play, but Semensky in good position, a great reaction, and put it back in play. at the net that time by Zachman gets them the point. It'll be game point, 40-30.
That one sent long, and Osseo will increase their lead to 3 1. turn is long. Cardinals need this service. They want to keep hopes of a sweep alive. He put a little too much on the return. Positioned well played by Charlie Zachman. No chance for the Cardinals to get to that one. Turn was just barely in. Roddy had to go a long way to get there. Not able to get it back over the net. It's a couple of break points here for Osseo Orioles trying to push their lead to 4 1 after losing the first set to Goon Rapids 6 2. That is well wide. Double fault will give the game to the Osseo Orioles. They will take a 4-1 lead here in the second set. Perhaps the Cardinals need the lucky charm that was Howie Shapiro to return to the pivot courts here. Since his departure, things have gone south for the Cardinals' top doubles team. Looks like some exhibition matches have opened up on the courts down the way. Or possibly JV matches or deeper as the most of the Cardinal varsity lineup is done. I think this may be the final varsity match in action. A double fault. Not how Zachman wanted to start her service. Yeah. 
just long in front of the feet of Abby Sankey. Macy Ruddy zips it down the middle. Zachman checking her racket for a hole, and there's that Macy Ruddy smile. Enjoying her time on the court as always. Good quick action up close to the net, but eventually sent wide. Nice return that time for Abby Semensky, and that will give the Cardinals a much needed service break. Bring the score to 4 2 here in the second set, and an opportunity if they can hold service with Semensky, get right back to a one game deficit. Double fault, and we saw Semensky struggle with her service a little bit last time around. Had a couple of back to back double faults. Again, so much length for Sankey at the net caused trouble. Cardinals able to get their way through it and then fortunately for them, Zachman in a great position, just put it into the net. Was really attacking hard from the near corner. That one well long. Put Cardinals up 30 15. And another double fault. Semensky shaking it off. Cannot afford to let it get in her head. What a play from Macy Ruddy. Just past the lunging Zachman and right down the line. too long. Oh 
Semensky wasted no time getting into that service, and she dialed up an ace. I believe this gives them game point. High, high return. Semensky waiting. Great point for Abby Semensky. Waited on that long lob and then played it to Zagman, got herself into a position that she could play it back to the far side. No chance for Sankey, especially the left handed player, to try and get back over to that. And the Cardinals back within one at four to three here in set number two. chance for both coaches to get out and talk to their athletes and for Coon Rapids get back to what you were doing for set one continue the current momentum for Osseo, get back to what was happening and what was working to begin this second set jumped out to that 4-1 lead Reset, one of the buzzwords for the Cardinal tennis squad this season. Of course, in it, meaning how you handle those bad points, just reset and start anew. Abby Sankey to serve for Osseo. Well played by Abby Semensky. Caught Zachman leaning a little bit to the middle and played it down the line. No chance for Sankey to get all the way over to the corner. First service was long. And a good cross court winner for Macy Ruddy. Cardinals can break service and get back to even here. Set two. Again, won that first set, 6 2, or 6 1, rather. Both Cardinals up pretty tight to the net. And as Semensky saw it go over her head, she said, it's yours. Ruddy just giggled as she jogged after it, knowing there was no realistic chance she was going to get all the way to the other side. Double fault. And now the Cardinals with a couple of break points. And the Cardinals have come back from that 4 1 deficit, even the score here at 4 all. And worth, uh, with service, an opportunity to take the lead and be back on the doorstep of a straight sets victory. Oh, 
double fault is not how Macy Ruddy wanted to start this service. But she will reset. Solid point to bounce back from that double fault. Took care of it all on her own. A good, strong service. Handled the return and a cross court that could not be reckoned with. To the far corner, 15 all. That one returned into the net, so the Cardinals back in front, 30-15. Well, the two Osseo players, one said out, one said ace. But uh, Ruddy is moving sides, so I'm going to go with ace. She got some good power right down the middle. She looks for that T. Within the, with the absence of Howie Shapiro, we're very fortunate to have a special guest with us, Jeff Thompson, Activities Director. A beautiful afternoon to be at the uh, complex. It is a wonderful evening, um, especially getting to sit by here next to such an amazing uh, commentator. <laughs> so, obviously, it comes at us so fast. We get back into the school year, back into... Uh, all of the different uh, activities. Uh, how have the uh, last couple of weeks gone from your perspective? You know, there's uh, each each sport is finding kind of their stride and in, in finding, you know, some areas for improvement, but uh, making those adjustments. It's really a fun thing to sit back. You know, you watch them. Uh, I mean, this this area is never asleep. These kids are here all summer long. They're in this tennis court nonstop, they're out on the fields. I mean, they are grinding away, and it's uh, really cool to see all of that hard work start to show. And uh, yeah, some good things happening, and uh, it's been fun to see, like I said, various uh, levels doing some really cool things. Well, and, and just kind of a bizarre start to the this schedule for the football team. Uh, a first in our 28-year history of a Friday morning 10 a.m. start uh, for the season opener. <laughs> so you're bringing that topic up. All right, all right. We'll talk, it was, we'll talk. Yeah, it's no, an interesting it's, way to start the year. It. Uh, I think I'm going for a record here. You know, I'm just starting year two as an AD, and I've uh, had to reschedule a football game. Um, to having a conversation with Kurt Walrath, previous AD, who never had to do it. And uh, so I don't know if it's uh, my luck or just uh, something out to get me. But, you know, it's a, it's a tough call. And to be honest with you, um, there's a, a big process with it and you know, being in communication right away you've got rescheduling officials and those officials are doing college games um, and then obviously the number one priority making sure the kids are safe and I know uh, speaking with Osseo they gave it a ran run and they had to evacuate the stadium twice and the game ended up being almost five hours long and so it's, uh, I, I'm going to be honest, that Friday game was like a college game day. It, it was. I mean, it was so they, much fun. I, I was going to say, in the end, I, I thought it would have been, um, you know, it was it was the right decision. Even if, I think the lightning had passed by game time, if you delay a little bit on Friday night or on Thursday night, you probably got that game in. But in the damp, and it would have been yeah. relatively miserable for all involved. And Friday morning, it was picture perfect. Yeah. Uh, and ideal conditions. Unfortunately, not an ideal uh, 
finish for the Cardinals? No, it was uh, you know just trying to readjust and, and get back on their their feet. Uh, I dipped in a couple practices this week, and you know I, I know that uh, everybody's working hard, and, and they'll get us the outcome that we're we're looking for here soon. But uh, always, you know, regardless of the outcome, it's so good to see the uh, the effort and the dedication that the staff and the kids are putting into it. Well, and here, you know, Scott Storick's squad always starts so incredibly fast. Uh, their schedule, again, we talked about it on sports night. The idea was to play a ton before school starts so that the kids can have those first couple days of school to get adjusted to being a student, which academics has to come first. And as it turned out, they had some postponements and things and still ended up playing three straight uh, as they opened the school year. You know, and it's, uh, it's awesome talking about that, right? Because I don't think... Um, you know, the, the average outsider sees the insight and just the, the dedication that Stork has to this program and these kids. But, you know, that is just one of many examples of really thoughtful, insightful outside the box of things that he does for this program and these kids. And, and obviously, yeah, on paper, that would have been really awesome to work out. But again, testimony to these athletes, you know, they show up, they're excited, they give it 110% every uh, match. and you know, regardless of, they're, they're here to represent Cardinal Nation well. Good play by Macy Ruddy down the line. Try and sneak the score when Zachman calls it out here. This is maybe match point. I did not catch it. Neither did I. But uh, you know, a number of the girls have really had strong starts for the Cardinals as well. The team a little bit better than 500 coming in. Beautifully played ball to the back corner by Semensky, and that was match point. Big smiles on the face of the Cardinals. They win by a 6-1, 6-4 score, especially after falling behind 4-1. Uh, a great way for those two to come back and get the win. Jeff, thanks for stopping and, and uh, joining me for the last couple of games here. As always, we want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro, who has left the building. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.